Exams are scheduled for next week, but today the 937 students of Mount Carmel Roman Catholic Primary School were all absent from classes, and so were their teachers. The 41 members of the teaching staff, as well as the principal, gathered under the shed on campus. The group staged the sit-out in protest of issues that have been plaguing the institution for some time now. According to the principal, Melvin Manzanero, three teachers have not been paid their salaries from the last school year. But it was a letter recently received from the Teaching Services Commission to have a long-standing teacher removed from the classroom that brought everything to a head. All these issues have, have been happening in our school. Um, but they have reached up to a level that um, the teachers are going to be affected and are being affected actually. Um, just last week, um, well yesterday I received um, a correspondence um, from the um, Teaching Service Commission in terms that not um, approving um, of having a teacher with us. And well, actually it's going to affect the school and, some, and, and maybe all the teachers correspondence that I have received via email um, from our local manager, it have proven that these five teachers that applied were actually um, approved. Obviously I didn't receive a black and white, you know, stating that, but the correspondence there shows that management or at least our local manager is to select three teachers out of those five to go on long leave. So which he did, not to find out afterwards that they were not granted approval, which means that the replacement that we got for them didn't get pay. And we're talking about three teachers. By the time we get to find out from the Teaching Service Commission, um, it's already late. They already almost finished with their three months. 53-year-old Anna Petch has been a teacher for the past 29 years. She teaches the Infant One class at the primary school. Back in January, the career educator applied for early retirement since her provisional license would have expired on September 9, 2018. She later asked for a hold on that request and was later granted a special license by the Teaching Services Commission back in August of 2018. So she returned to classes at the beginning of the school year. But since September 9, she has not been paid and on Tuesday, the principal received a correspondence indicating that she should be removed from the classroom. Petch says it's like a slap in the face of her dedication to the education system. My provisional license was supposed to be expired on September 9th, and I got my special license before my license expired. So you belong in the classroom? Exactly. But since September... You have not been paid? Yes, since September 9th. I got paid from September 1 to September 9th. That's it. Up to now, nothing. And plus, I have my children studying. Two of them are studying. And I need to pay my bills. They're treating me unfairly. 29 years and a half. I've given to a lot of my students here in Benke. Some of my colleagues here, I have taught them, and I am teaching their children now. Holding placards expressing their discontent, the teachers paraded along the pathway on the compound, chanting. They are standing in solidarity with those who feel disrespected. Manzanero says that it is a situation that has been unaddressed by the Roman Catholic management but has been affecting teachers from the four schools in the western region. I'm the local manager actually um, con convened an emergency meeting over the weekend with the principals of his of the schools, which are four of them, and informed us of the issues. He have, we have tried to see if for this not to reach at this level, but now it couldn't go any farther because the teachers now are aware of all of this. So you're saying that our other schools within this region have been affected as well? Well, yes, within the management, the Catholic management here, our local manager, I mean, he's um, um, immediately responsible of these four schools. We have one in Arenal, one in Kala Creek, and one in Sokot, and this is one of the largest ones. What will we do with those students under her care? Should we um, divide the classroom and give it to the other teachers, which they are totally in disagreement? 
or um, should we send those kids home, which wouldn't be the ideal. So we simply want this particular situation um, to, to, to at least to find out where things are going wrong or where it went wrong. The teachers have the full support of parents following a meeting around 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Gloria Heredia has four children attending the school and says she's disappointed about the manner in which the teachers are being treated. I 100% support the teachers. Um, it's something that I wouldn't want it to happen to no person because I know they depend on their salary. They have debts just like any human being here, you know. Um, while we were at the meeting, um, the deacon came and told us that um, ministry called and said that they were going to see if they could meet with them on Friday. This is something that is happening countrywide, not only here, right? And if you stop your demonstration, it's like you giving them the upper hand. This morning around 10.30, a representative from the district education office visited the school to find out what was going on. While she was unable to offer a comment due to established protocol, Manzanero says that if there is no favorable response from the Ministry of Education, the teachers will proceed with a demonstration through the streets of Benque Viejo on Friday. They plan to take it um, to the streets, but because they need ample time um, for, for the permits and everything to be um, gotten from the necessary authorities, then from there they plan to take it up to the streets. Um, I haven't gotten any um, information from the local manager if, or from the general manager if any, um, if any meeting has been called by either the, um, the parties involved. Um, up to now I'm not aware of it, but if they do, I, I do believe I will be called upon and I will inform the teachers um, on what transpires along the way. Dwayne Moody for News 5.